Welcome back. Now, Groote Skier Hospital uh, once again has made medical history. Professor Mashiko Setedi, head of the UCT Medical Gastroenterology Division, has performed South Africa's very first bowel endoscopy, and I hope I said that correctly. Uh, the procedure uh, is said to transform the way that clinicians examine the previously inaccessible small bowel using a minimally invasive technique. Well, congratulations, Professor Tsetsedi, and thanks very much for joining us uh, here on the South African Morning. I'm going to ask Medical 101, and please speak Gareth to me, what exactly is this procedure that you now have done and made history? Thank you, Gareth, so much, and good morning to you. Um, I'd like to start by just explaining quickly what a gastroscopy is and what a colonoscopy is, and most people will be familiar with that. So this is a tube that we use to examine the foregut. Uh, that's a gastroscopy, and uh, that examines about one meter of the foregut. And then if you're having a colonoscopy, <clears throat> which is the camera test from the behind, so the anus, that examines about one and a half meters of the large colon. So enteroscopy is a similar thing. So you use endoscopy to assess now the small bowel. Um, and the problem with the small bowel is that it's quite long. It's about six to seven meters in length, uh, depending on the height of individual. So if you took out the small bowel out of the abdomen and you stretched it out, it would be about three and a half times the length of any one of us. So it's quite long. Sure. But not only that, it's also coiled and tortuous. And uh, unlike some of the structures in the foregut or in the lower gut, it's not anchored. So it's not attached to other structures. So it's quite mobile. Um, so for those reasons, it's been traditionally very difficult to examine the small bowel uh, because uh, of the length, etc. Uh, and up until now, we've had what we call a push enteroscopy. So push enteroscopy uses a longer scope. It's about two meters long. And basically, you're pushing through into the small bowel, trying to get gains into the small bowel. And you're able to assess literally about half of it, so up to the mid digital. So in 2005, uh, a new technology was developed. It's called a balloon-assisted enteroscopy. And here what you have is the same sort of length of scope, which is about two meters, but then they devised an overtube, which can go over the scope. And at both ends of the scope itself and of the overtube, you have balloons that you can inflate and deflate. Now, this procedure requires two operators, so the primary endoscopist, as well as your co-pilot, who then will advance the overtube into the small bowel. So then you do the procedure like you would do a normal gastroscope. Then once you get to the duodenum, which is the upper part of the small bowel, then your co-pilot advances the overtube, and then we inflate the tube. Right. Now that helps us anchor the scope so that it doesn't uh, slip back. Uh, and because it is anchored, then the endoscopist is able to actually push the scope through uh, the overtube. So you go a distance further, and then you inflate that tube, so you're able to anchor the scope uh, in that further area of the small bowel. So just as I'm, as I'm describing it, you can tell it's very manual. You need uh, two uh, operators, and you have to go through cycles of that manual advancement, inflating of the tubes, deflating of the tubes, moving forward. Um, so this new uh, kid on the block, uh, the power uh, enteroscopy, is powered. So below the handle of the scope, there's actually an integrated electric motor, and that actually gives a rotational force, right, to an area about 40 centimeters from the tip of the scope. That's where now you attach the overtube, right? Mm -hmm. So the overtube is a spiral thing. So it has these fins, which are silicone tubes. Uh, the diameter is a little bit larger than the actual normal scope. So you attach that firmly to the scope. And then it gives it power. So you're able to, with forward rota uh, rotation, literally burrow into the small bowel. And as you do that, the beauty of it is that the small bowel pleats back on itself. And as it pleads back into itself, as you can imagine, then you're able to advance. But also the small bowel in front of you straightens up so you can actually see a bit better. Uh, as, uh, you can identify the pathology much easier. Professor, um, let me come in there for a second. Uh, let me ask you this question, the last minute or two I have with you, Prof. Uh, so for a patient, does this new uh, advanced uh, technology, does it in some way help with any kind of recovery? Does it help in a more accurate diagnosis? Uh, is the turnaround time quicker for a patient who would have to go through the old way of doing things that you explained? Uh, what is this going to do for the patient before I say goodbye to you this morning? So for the patient, it's revolutionary. It's faster, it's gentler. The endoscopist has got a lot more control, and we are able to administer therapy. So it's not just for diagnostic purposes. So we're able to biopsy, we're able to inject uh, bleeding uh, vessels, we're able to remove polyps. 
uh, we are able to remove, um, you know, all sorts of things. So for the patient, I mean, I think it improves the quality of life. For the particular patient we did, it will hopefully reduce their need uh, for repeated blood transfusions. And because it's a shorter procedure with more control, we'll be able to hopefully do more patients. Uh, it's a much better way of examining the small bar. And that's what it that's what it comes down to. It's the care of the patients and trying to get them uh, out of, of procedure as quickly as possible. It's incredible. I mean, I was trying to follow how you were explaining it, uh, but it sounds like this is going to be changing the world. It certainly uh, made history at Grote Skeet Hospital. What a pleasure. Uh, UCT Medical Gastroenterology Head, Professor Mashiko Setshedi, uh, speaking to us this morning. And uh, it's astonishing how some people come up with this Absolutely. and put it into practice. It makes me rethink if you, you So what did you do on your know, Sunday? You actually <laughs> do not want to know how everything works sometimes yeah. because that is just phenomenal. Yeah. That's, that's, the, curtain, that's got, the curtain being open. Thank goodness we've got uh, talented scientists like that really leading the yeah, way. Well done, well done to the prof and her team. Absolutely.